this week, we have something very unique for you. It's, as we know in America, the 9mm is a very popular weapon. The bullets travel fast, they're very sleek, inexpensive, and they'll they have a foot-pound stopping power of about 340, uh, 350 foot-pounds. Very effective bullet. However, and the weapon, the weapon is light, it's uh, concealable, discreet, However, it's not always the weapon of choice for police officers on the street. Lieutenant. In the States, they have a major fondness for the 45 ACP, particularly in the 1911. This round with 230 grain hollow point, loaded to 1150 feet per second in the plus piece uh, loadings, generates 675 foot pounds of energy. Wow, that's a great increase. And compared to the 9mm, as we have here, what is the physical difference? Let me see. Put our weapons aside. Put them here. So as you can see, the physical size, right here, the 9mm compared to the, uh, the 45, the 9mm is very sleek, it's fast, this is 115 grain, so it, uh, it's an effective uh, rapid fire bullet. But will it really stop using glass and ace laminate? The glass that we're using today, we're firing it today with the 45, is a quarter inch thick. And we're shooting at auto glass. Now, you've seen several times before ace stop 38s and 9s on auto glass and on quarter inch. Well, today we're going to use the 45. And again, uh, because there's certain ones that feel that when we put laminate on the front of the glass that is, you know, it's skewing the results, there will be no laminate on the front of the glass, just on the surface to the interior side. So the shooter will shoot from here and will stop before they five here on this side using the laminate. So ace laminate is here, we'll apply it to the glass and we'll shoot not at 30 feet, not at 10 feet, 12 inches away. Let's do this. So just before we start, you see the shooter's getting ready. We're gonna measure the glass, just to be sure that from muzzle to glass is exactly 12 inches or one foot. So here we go, we're gonna measure. So as you can see, it is exactly from muzzle to glass, 12 inches. The glass, over at the top here, here's the micrometer, is exactly, we'll measure it, one, quarter inch exactly so the glass is a quarter inch thick the bullet as I mentioned before is right here it's a 45 caliber hollow point and the distance is one foot I have my ear protection and eye protection the range is going to go hot I'm going to start this to note we have a shield up the glass as I measured was 12 inches of, apart point blank range direct a 45 degree angle the bullet left the muzzle hit the glass and where did that bullet end up it came back through the small hole just missed his hand and landed right here by my foot We can see that the laminate is still intact. The glass is still intact. Very little glass came off. Only where the bullet actually hit did the glass release. Let's look on the other side now, on the what's called surface two, the interior side. This is the strike side, surface one. Let's go look at surface two now. As you can see, surface two, we have a nice bulge here where the bullet hit. Absolutely no, none whatsoever, rip or tear in the laminate. Just a bulge where the bullet actually hit. So the bullet went through here, tapped here, bounced back, all that energy. Right, now let's, let's, let's step this up now. Let's change this over. Let's put 
a piece of auto glass. Auto glass is an eighth inch thick. How effective will the auto glass be at point blank range, 12 inches away, with no line on the front? Will it stop that bullet? Well, let's take a look. All right, so here we have now the sample, the test specimen, the auto glass. It's a typical salvage window from the scrapyard, what we normally do. We're gonna measure this to ensure that it is exactly eighth inch. That reads one eighth of an inch. Okay. Muzzle to glass, 20 inches. From muzzle to glass is 20 inches. Ready! Test is done. Again, there's no lamina on the front. You can see that I can just pick up the glass and tear it away. In fact, we can use the micrometer just to, to prove a point. There's no lamina in the front of this. You can see that it's separated. It does not require lamina in the front to stop the bullet. On surface two, we have the same result of the quarter inch. We have a nice bulge here where the bullet hit. So again, the bullet came in, left the muzzle, traveled exactly 20 inches, hit the limit, bounced out. Here's the bullet, here's the, the before and the after. And you can see the glass is exactly an eight inch thick. The difference between life and death is an affordable alternative product advanced coding engineering manufacturers, the ASLX. Thank you for watching our video. Thank you.